Serious economic, environmental and social concerns remain today about the use of fossil fuels such as oil. InnoFiber and CREEB from UQTR in this regard is engaged in active research aimed at developing clean and renewable biofuels from microalgae. Microalga are actual biological microfactories that produce large quantities of useful organic molecules in addition to providing a biofuel capable of meeting our energy needs. Some species produce lipids such as omega-3 fatty acids in large quantities. They also produce sugars, proteins and pigments such as beta-carotene. These bioproducts are prized by many industrial markets. To produce these products in a cost-effective manner, however, poses a number of challenges for researchers. First, the microalga have to be liberated from their environment, the strong cell wall surrounding each cell has to be weakened, and finally, the desired products have to be purified, separating them from the range of organic molecules released during cell lysis. At a pilot basin created at InnoFiber, a CREEB team is growing microalga in industrial wastewater to generate renewable energy. Biodiesel, a coveted form of renewable energy, is produced from oils contained in the cells of microalga. The 10,000-liter pilot basin produces a sufficient amount of biomass for the InnoFiber team to test various harvesting processes. The microalga, once cultivated, have to be harvested and extracted before being converted into biofuel oils. Harvesting is a critical point in the process and key to ensuring the profitability of such operations. The InnoFiber team is testing the application of methods from the pulp and paper industry, which could give some old papermaking equipment a new lease on life. Another key strategy developed by InnoFiber researchers is to improve microalga themselves through metabolic engineering. This approach involves changing strains of microalga by giving them characteristics that facilitate the collection of bioproducts and make them more suitable for high-yield production processes. One research project underway is investigating a method for breaking down microalga cell walls, which represent a strong barrier to accessing the organic molecules contained within the cell. The methods currently used to weaken microalga cell walls are expensive and are not always suitable for industrial production of bioingredients. The objective of this research project is to use enzymatic digestion as an initial approach to promoting the breakdown of cell walls after the microalga undergo a mechanical treatment using papermaking equipment. To develop this strategy with a low operating cost, experimental approaches from the field of molecular biology are being used. A second research product is attempting to modify the metabolism of microalga and make them produce new molecules such as ethanol that are easier to extract. Because ethanol can easily pass through cell walls, a simple distillation process would be enough to extract and concentrate the biofuel. The ethanol could then be used directly in current engines without any further refining. Photosynthetic conversion that combines the work of the plant and yeast in the same body does not require passage through an intermediate carbohydrate such as starch or cellulose. This approach should significantly increase the efficiency of converting solar energy into biofuel.